Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and a trainer. In this episode, I am going to discuss a change that has been made to the standard search algorithm in C++17. So you may or may not be familiar with standard search, but it basically looks like this. You've got your first and last iterators that you passed into it for the thing that you want to search, and then you pass in first and last iterators for the range that you want to search for. So you need things that are comparable to each other, and these only have to be forward iterators. But if you've got, say, a string of characters, and you want to search for a substring, this would be one way to do it. So you could write code that looks like this. So you might have in your main, and then you've got something that you want to search for in this. And we expect that this should return the position six, because that is where the string ath has first been found when we do this search. So if we were to do our search algorithm, it would look like this. We are searching over the range s.begin to s.end, and we are searching for the subset of our to find string. And we need to include our algorithm header. And we'll see what happens here. I don't actually expect this to all compile away and optimize away to nothing, but we can give it a shot. We are building with O3. So we expect our distance from s.begin to found at to be 6, as I said earlier. Let's see if we can actually get that out. And I'm not really surprised that this doesn't actually fully optimize away. We've got exception handling and all kinds of things happening in here. And, uh, a you know, as it says here, some rather long string. Let's take it down a notch, see if it's something that fits in small string optimization, if it helps. And it doesn't. And just for grins, we will try against clang. Yeah, and we're still not getting the answer at compile time, but that's fine. This is the basic concept, and it's easy to demonstrate with strings, but it can work with any kind of iteratable thing. It could be a container of integers, and we're looking for uh, a subset of integers. So if we had, for example, we could use our find algorithm to search for the subset of 3, 4, 5 inside of our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vector in exactly the same way that we're searching for strings. So let's keep that in mind. So you may have already noticed when I showed this screen a moment ago that in C++17 we've got a few overloads that have been added. Now the first one to point out is this execution policy, and that is actually for parallel searching. We haven't talked about the parallelization of algorithms in C++17 yet, and that's partially because none of the standard library implementations actually support that yet, but hopefully they will soon. But the one that I want to call your attention to is this one right here that takes a first, a last, and a searcher overload. So it is assumed, although not guaranteed or required, that your standard library implementation is doing a very naive search, and it's simply looking for the subset s underscore first, s underscore last, inside of first and last. But there are more efficient ways to do this. And most notably, we've got the Boyer More Searcher and the Boyer More Harspool Searcher that have been added in C17. So we can click on one of these and we can see uh, an example for how it's intended to be used. And it is basically you're constructing a Boyer More Searcher simply like this. And then instead of passing the begin and end iterator of the thing you want to search for, you create your Boyer More searcher that itself owns the 
pointers to the begin and end the iterators of the thing you're searching for. And then you can get rid of this. And we need to include functional. And we expect this to compile. But we probably won't see actually in the assembly what awesomeness it is doing here. But the Boyer Moore searcher and the Boyer Moore Harspool searchers. So we just had to switch back to GCC and add a missing parentheses to get this to compile. But the Boyer Moore searcher and the Boyer Moore Harspool searcher are both algorithms that are designed to make a linear search through something in a forward search kind of way uh, more efficient. If we go back to our CPP reference documentation here, we can see that there are links to the Boyer Moore string searching algorithm on Wikipedia. And the basic idea is that it generates a lookup table to say that if I have now encountered a P or whatever in my string, then I know that I can skip the next two characters because it is impossible that the thing that I ultimately want to search for could not be found within this subset of things. So it builds a lookup table and then it does a skipping so the default search algorithm has a complexity that is required to be at most s times n comparisons, where s is the length of the thing that you're searching for, and n is the length of the thing that you are searching. Our Boyer-Moore search algorithm has a worst case scenario of n times n, or s times n in our previous nomenclature. So a worst case of the length of the thing that you are searching times the length of the thing that is being searched if the string has been found. But our worst case for if the string does not appear is n plus m, which is actually uh, quite a bit better. These algorithms, anyhow, can lead to much more efficient string searching if that is something that you are doing in your code and something to uh, something that is worth considering when you are looking at doing your net string searching in C++. And it is also worth noting that these do a hashing function so they can uh, do faster comparisons of the strings and they've got a their own binary predicate so if you wanted to you could overload uh, what exactly you're looking for for your equals equals comparison. For example you could implement it potentially as a case insensitive comparison, I would think. There you go. These are the new search algorithms that are available in C17. There's Boyer Moore Searcher and the Boyer Moore Heart Horsepool Searcher. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.